If you ever learned how to revive people, wouldn't you abuse the shit out of that power? Of course you would. And so would I. If you said you wouldn't... Fuck you. What up, my name is Daniel. And for me the most challenging part of storytelling is creating fully fleshed out, believable characters. It's hard, but in the end it's doable. Then, since I spent so much time thinking about them, I often get attached, especially to the good-natured ones, which is not good because eventually I'm expected to kill them off, as if it's nothing. It is tough, but a good writer is prepared to kill their darlings. But when you tell me they have to stay dead, I don't know about that one, chief. Yeah, I don't care about what you saw on Reddit. Resurrection is a fantastic trope. The amount of times you've seen it being misused these days doesn't take away from how massively useful it is in the right hands, aka hands attached to a properly informed person. So let's shift the balance and discuss when is it okay to resurrect your character. Condition 1. Resurrection is consistent with your in-universe laws. Examples. If you have a magic system that allows resurrection, if your world explicitly features reincarnation cycles and or souls, etc. This way you avoid your readers saying how the fuck throwing away the book and writing you a review filled with righteous anger. Please remember, Deus Ex Machina is long out of fashion. Condition 2. Tension in your story does not heavily rely on irreversible mortality. Examples to avoid. If you're writing a survival horror where your MC's main focus is staying alive, or any drama-heavy story where death is a serious threat to consider, this way you don't kill suspense and avoid your readers saying who gives a shit and going to bed after another deadly threat appears in your story. Remember, if you're writing a suspenseful story, your goal is to keep your readers sleep deprived until they earn their freedom by finishing the last page. Condition 3. Plot progression does not require the character staying alive. Ensure this if you don't want the subsequent resurrection to be super obvious. Example to consider. Spoiler warning for Game of Thrones. 3, 2, 1. Jon Snow being resurrected by the Red Priestess in season 6. Let's be honest here, nobody fucking thought he was gonna stay dead. While his revival is arguably justified in universe, it still took away from the drama and heavily cheapened death. This way you avoid your readers saying Of course you did, whatever, instead of Oh shit, what? Ah, right! You don't want to make your resurrection unintentionally predictable and cheapen death when you depend on its significance. Condition 4 Resurrection has to be properly earned. Example. One MC dies at the end of book one. Second MC spends the entire second book trying to resurrect the first MC. Bringing back a dead major character should require some effort from you, and even more effort from your other characters. This way you avoid your readers saying, oh and that's it, instead of Oh god, yes, you did it! You actually did it! Condition 5. Character's death did not serve as a source of major character development for someone, especially involving acceptance of that loss. A good example and spoiler for Naruto Shippuden is Jiraiya Sensei, who had enough decency to stay dead. Dot the bio. I almost teared up writing this part of the script. This is how powerful his sacrifice was. You cannot eat your cake and have it too. And in the same way you cannot sacrifice your character to improve another character and have them be alive anyway. This way you avoid your readers saying, seriously? After all that? 
Ugh. Remember, you don't want your reader to feel cheated out of their empathy. Life sucks enough already. These are the conditions. But when is it a good idea to resurrect a character? Well, that's up to you. Maybe your readers liked the character a lot. Remember Jesus? He was so likable they just had to bring him back. Just be careful not to split the fandom. Or maybe your writer's instinct tells you returning a particular character would make the story better. Whatever floats your boat. So long that you fulfill the conditions. Now, before I go, a few resurrection tips. A revived character's personality should differ from their pre-death version, unless they didn't realize anything. It's a good idea to weaken your resurrected character, to accentuate the impact of death. A resurrection's difficulty is inversely proportional to its expected rate of occurrence in the world. That's it. Good luck. Resurrection is a fantastic trope. Hui. This way you don't kill suspense. This way you don't kill suspense. And, an and another one. Another one. This way you avoid your reader saying... Oh sh... Oh god, yes, you did it! You actually did it! Oh, I'm so fucking tired. Maybe you're... Suka. Remember, if you're writing a suspenseful story, your goal is to keep your readers sleep-deprived until they earn their freedom by finishing the last page.